Hello everybody. So I'm sure by now we've all heard that Dr. Kofi Kunidua Preku has stated his interest or intention to run for the presidential candidacy of the NPP. And Dr. Kofi Kunidua Preku is somebody that most of us know. Um, he's been running for the presidential candidacy for quite some time now, the late, 19, the late 1990s. Uh, he's run for it um, all the way till um, the, in the run up to the 2016 election, four or five times that he's run for the primaries. Uh, so he's a known figure. But now that he stated his interest, what are his chances in the race? So we have here the pro-con analysis. We're going to look at his chances, the advantages and disadvantages, and uh, where he stands as far as uh, his intentions for the race is concerned. So first of all, um, in the pro side, we realize that Dr. Kuku, first of all, has vast executive experience. And this is somebody who has worked in government for some time. He was a major part of the Kufuor administration. He was Minister of Regional Cooperation in Nepal. He was Trade Minister at some point, a key figure in the Kufuor administration. And so because of that, we can confidently say that he has good executive or governmental experience. We move from there, we come to this presidential primary veteran. Like I said, he's run for quite a number of presidential primaries, and so he, should, he knows how these things work. He has the experience as far as this is concerned, and hopefully he will use it to his advantage. Next, we have the name recognition. Um, because Dr. Prabhu has been a mainstay of MPP primary politics for a long time, his name is easily recognizable. He is not a new or fresh quantity in the dynamics of the presidential primaries. And, and that is one first hurdle that he would, have, he would have crossed. So he does have that name called recognition within the MPP. Um, financial and economic expertise. So when we come to the hardcore area of um, qualification or of expertise, Dr. Kufukunudua Prabhu can take that box. His area of expertise is in finance and is in economics. So he would really, really latch onto that as one of his key selling points. And then we could also add, I didn't write that here, but we could also add that he has international experience. Um, as we talk, he currently works for ECOWAS. He's had experience with the UN and other international organizations. And so that really does give him a very different, broader, and global perspective, which hopefully he hopes to, I mean, which hopefully he will leverage on um, for his presidential run. Now, when we talk about the cons and disadvantages, um, the, the, the first thing that we realize is that he's a perennial underachiever. What do I mean by this? He has not really, despite the fact that he has run for quite a number of times in the primaries, he's not really made a huge impact and he's never gotten the nomination. He's not really made a huge impact and um, that is something that uh, might, have, uh, it might wear out on people and, and, and also does not really take something away from him. Lack of connection to grassroots. So, Dr. Preku, for all that it, um, for all that he's done, um, sometimes appears to be a bit cut off from the from the grassroots. Um, has this elitist, elitist, this elitist disposition and does not really have the, the charisma, you know, um, and that really uh, gets him connected to the ordinary, the everyday Ghanaian or to the grassroots. And closely related to this is it's not absent from local politics. In politics, they say geography is everything. And so because of his absence from um, the local scene, it definitely takes something away from him. And he, that is something that he would have to work on to bridge that particular gap. Underwhelming political skills. Uh, we, again, again, he's done this for quite a while, but he has not made a major imprint on the national psyche or on in the political discursive space, as you'd expect someone of such long experience would be. And so, there are questions about his ability to be an effective campaigner um, for all these years that he's been in politics. He's kind of underwhelmed in his political um, achievements in terms of electoral politics. And then low energy. Well, time has taken its toll. Dr. Kripo is not the same Dr. Kripo we knew, uh, maybe age, but he lacks that vibrance and that vigor or that, I mean, uh, energy, you know, low energy um, that would inspire you know, um, and electrify the base is a bit muted in that respect, and uh, it's something that we uh, probably need to work on if he really wants to ginger and fire up the grassroots to get his presidential ambition um, on course and maybe successful this time around. So, this is what I think. What do you make of Dr. Kunudu Apriku's uh, presidential candidacy around or intentions? Let me hear from you. Uh, thank you very much for listening. God bless.